Taylor and I'm back with another video if this is your first time coming to my channel hopefully you consider subscribing and joining the family grab yourself a plate we would love to have you okay I know I would I'm just saying but I thought it would be fun since we're into the new year to do a video on some of my best purchases from last year and I'm so proud of myself because like there weren't a ton not because there aren't a ton of like best purchases like oh my gosh so many of them i just am ashamed of and that's why i don't have a lot but no i actually have few because i feel like i did way less shopping last year than i did in previous years and i'm actually quite proud of that because i feel like i'm working hard on being intentional with my clothing uh, i know that you know it's hard to do that especially in the time that we're in now where you know the time of fast fashion and you know consumerism and all of this kind of stuff and it's very hard for me especially as a fashion girly like i love clothes i love fashion i create content and sometimes i'm i feel a little bit strange like oh my gosh it's so hard to create content because i'm not buying stuff i don't you know i feel like reviews and hauls do really well on my channel but like I'm not always just buying a ton of stuff, you know? <laughs> when I first got on YouTube, I was like in a shopping era, a shopping phase, and I was just buying so many things, so I wanted to share everything with you guys. And now, as I, I get into the phase that I'm in now, where I'm just shopping a lot more sustainably and with a lot more intention, I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more like reviews and like, um, like for instance, like after fashion week, like going over some of my favorite shows or, um, breaking down journal articles from like major publications like Vogue or Elle or Harper's Bazaar or Women's Wear, you know? And I think that that's kind of the place that I'm transitioning to now. It's just fashion content, not just reviews and hauls. Just talking about fashion in general, breaking down some vintage pieces telling you guys about my luxury wish list and things that I want to buy and things that I regret buying, you know, etc. So I figured I would start it off and talk to you guys about some of the things that I do really appreciate and things that I really loved that I purchased last year. So um, this is in no particular order. Like this isn't like if I'm showing this first, it's not like my favorite, you know, or if I'm showing it last, that's not like my favorite. But the first thing is this vintage I've never heard of this brand. It's called Drapers and Demons. I actually just got it in December of last year, so I haven't worn it because I was trying to figure out how to style it. But I love this jacket. And um, you know what? You guys should be seeing some footage of me um, either wearing the item, trying it on, or a picture of me wearing the item, or a picture of the item itself throughout the video. So you guys can get a little bit more perspective, you know, instead of me just holding it up in the video. But I really love this, and that's another thing I have um, planned for this year. I definitely wanna do a lot more vintage and um, thrifting in general, like vintage shopping, thrifting, um, secondhand, pre-loved. I really wanna explore and dive into that market. Not just because of cost, even though that's a big, it's like a big reason for me, but because we talk about sustainability, right? And I feel like it's a lot more sustainable to thrift. And you know, I used to thrift so much when I was in college because I was really in an area that was just chef's kiss for thrifting. Like I have so many vintage pieces that I just absolutely love that I've had for what over 10 years now um, because they were that good and my personal theory is if a clothing item you know is already 20 or 30 years old and it still looks good it's gonna last another 20 or 30 years I've had pieces that are older than that honestly I have pieces from my grandmother that she passed down onto me um, so I have vintage bags that were passed down from my mom so if something is really good quality, it will stand the test of time, especially if it's been taken care of. So I have some really great items and this, when I saw this, I just was drawn to it because it looked again like it was great quality, but I was like, oh, 
I don't know about this because I, I'm not really good at styling pieces like this, you know? But eventually I just decided to buy it. It was $11.99 and I actually am wearing a turtleneck right now and I just happened to throw it on and I was like, oh, this would look great with a turtleneck. Um, but I'm, I want to find a way to kind of make it a little bit more style. Like I like mixing masculine and feminine pieces. I like mixing um, super polished pieces with edgy pieces. So I think that I would, I'm still waiting for the perfect moment, but I, as the more I hold this up, the more I hold on to it and look at it, the more ideas I have for styling it. So I would love to pair this maybe with like a vintage jean or even a mini skirt and some tights. So, you know, to be continued and we shall see what I do, but I really thought that this kind of set off my love for thrifting and you guys have seen my previous video thrifted where I showed you everything that I thrifted last month and this was also in that video but I just wanted to start this off because I really feel like this is probably one of my best purchases of last year even though I just got it you know literally a few weeks ago but it it's just I love it I love it so it's one of my best purchases okay this dress um I'm gonna hold it up and then hopefully you guys are going to be seeing um a lot let me make sure my phone's a vibrate um hopefully you guys are going to be seeing a lot of videos and pictures and stuff again while i'm talking but i absolutely love this dress i also have it in gray do i have the gray with me yes Ooh, good job taylor you were organized <laughs> i also have it in gray as well um, but this dress I absolutely love. I purchased it at Forever 21. Mm, it smells so good because I, I literally love this dress so much I wore it again today. So, uh, it smells like Valentino's Born in Roma, by the way, because that's what I wore today. Mm, that's a good scent. Um, but I absolutely love this dress. What I love about this dress is when I first saw it, it kind of threw me off guard because I saw it on the on the rack like I it's rare that I actually go into forever 21 because I love to shop online because they have so many promo codes but I was I was in the store and I saw it and I said what is this this looks like a blanket or something you know like the sleeves they they flare out a ton and they're kind of like like the equivalent of a bell bottom pant but like a bell sleeve and they're long and the dress was this very like soft kind of almost wool like material and I was like what is going on here and then I went up to the dress and I saw that the bottom was kind of like asymmetric and like cut on the side and I said you know what I'm gonna try this on so I took it in the fitting room and I was like blown away I was like this is the actual equivalent of something looking ugly on the rack and beautiful on when I tell you every time I wear this dress, I get so many compliments. I I have it in gray, but I surprisingly bought the black after, I, like the original dress I purchased at the store was in gray. And then when I looked online, I saw that they had it in black as well and it was on sale. So um, I ended up getting this dress for like $14. And when I tell you this is one of my best purchases, and again, I got it just in the fall, so I didn't even have it most of the year, but I have worn this dress so many times and it is amazing, amazing. Like the quality is amazing. It's thick, it's soft, it's long. So I usually wear it with one of my other best purchases, these boots, these thigh high boots from Forever 21, y'all. Don't get me started on these boots. Like when I pair this with the black dress, I'd be feeling like I'm a in the Matrix movie, okay? Like I absolutely, I absolutely adore these boots. Definitely, if I had to pick, this is probably top two, top three of the best purchases of 2023. Like I wear these boots so much. They are just right up my alley. They filled such a void in my closet. And for me, when something really fills a void, that's how I know it's like really a best purchase. Not just because I like it, but how many times do I reach for it and how many times do I need it? And this, I have always been a girl that loved thigh high boots, but I could never find boots 
that did me justice because I'm thick and I hate boots that roll down. Like I love the sexiness of it being all the way up your thigh. These are real thigh high boots. They even have like this kind of thing here. I don't know if you guys can see it like this jelly thing that kind of helps it from sliding all the way down. And I get so much use out of these boots. But paired with this dress, oh my goodness. I wore it today to my neighbor, he's an artist, and I went to his art, he, he did another exhibition. You know, I try to, you know, support my people. He did an exhibition and I looked so good. People was looking at me. Oh my God, wait, Taylor, editing Taylor, post, if you have the picture, put the picture of the women looking at me. I took a selfie in a mirror and these women were like staring me down and I didn't realize it until I went home and I was looking at the picture and I was like, I don't know if they're in awe or if they're in disgust, but I don't care. I just thought it was really funny. So yes, look, I killed two birds with one stone because while I was talking about the dresses, I also need to talk about the boots. But um, I actually had a, a post on, not, not a post, is it a post? I posted a TikTok as well and um, you know, just telling the girls about it. And it was a fairly long TikTok, so I didn't think it would do well. I was just posting it to post it. It already has like 7,000 plus views. And for me, that's a lot. Like I only have 600 followers on TikTok. So for, you know, to have reached probably hundreds or thousands of people, you know, maybe, I don't know how many people replayed the video, but to reach thousands of people and so many people commented like, oh my gosh, I love it. And like, you know, um, I also posted like a promo code and stuff that I had found and so many people were like, hey, thank you, save me $10, blah, blah, blah. So I thought that was fun and a great use of the internet because if I can't put my girlies on, then what am I on here for? Like, no, we need to put the girls on. So I absolutely love this dress. It is, it does the booty so right. It's so sexy. It has, it shows like a sliver of skin when I wear the thigh high boots, like maybe like this much. And something about it is just so sexy. Like I wore it on a date once and all eyes were on me, okay? Not just my date's eyes either. All eyes were on me. And I got compliments from other women. I got compliments from men. Um, it's stretchy and I would say it's very true to size like I actually ordered it in small as well just to see if I want you know like a tighter look but I took it back and I kept the medium because I I just liked the way that the asymmetric part fell on the on the actual medium size which is my true size um, the small kind of made me feel like one false move something might show and I didn't like that like I really feel like just get your natural size don't focus on it being so tight because that's what really adds to the sexiness of the outfit like it looks like you're not doing too much and and it goes with one of my cardinal rules of like picking a side like um, usually if I have my chest out that's the only place I have out if I have my legs out I'm doing legs that day if I have my back out I'm doing back that day um, if I have my thigh out I'm doing my thigh like that the slit is it I can't have multiple areas showing because that's when things kind of get into a little bit vulgar in my opinion I'm no expert you know you do you boo but I'm talking about for me I am not gonna have really low cleavage and a really short dress or like um, have my back out and a lot of front out you know every now and then when I go to like places like Miami or Las Vegas um, places like that I'll definitely make exceptions. I actually feel the more skin showing, the better in those areas. But on a regular day, if I'm just kind of going out for drinks or for dinner or on a date, I like to pick a side, pick an area and stick to it. And this dress is just does just that. Like it, the little bit of thigh that it shows is just so sexy to me. And I think it kind of drives people crazy because it's like they see it and they're like, hmm, what else is under there, you know? It leaves them wanting more and as a woman I feel like that's one of our feminine quality I well I feel like that's one of our feminine qualities it's kind of like adds to the allure like ooh, what else is she hiding you know so that's like my little two cents and 
Hopefully you guys will have seen videos or pictures of the gray one as well because the gray one I actually really like as well. Um, I will say for some reason I'm trying to figure out how to style the gray one just a little bit better in my opinion because I haven't gotten as much use out of the gray one even though that's the one I originally purchased and found first because I love how the black on the black looks with the, the thigh high boots. I'm wondering if I actually might show my full leg and wear a different shoe with this. I'm wondering. But you know, it's still the winter so I have um, a lot of time to kind of play around with this. Oh, that's another thing I want to say. This dress is actually very warm. Today it was like in the 50s and I wore this dress um, with the thigh high boots, no jacket. Um, I went on a date once, wore the dress, it was in the 40s no jacket and the boots fine so keep that in mind like if you live in a place like i live in austin texas where it's not extremely cold you know it's very rare that it gets cold it does get cold here but it's it doesn't get like you know two degrees uh you know you might want to wear some outfits like this because sometimes when it's in the 40s and 50s you can wear this without a jacket and still be sexy so and who doesn't want to be sexy okay Okay, next, you guys probably will have seen this set, um, and I'm going to show it to you exactly, like I'm showing it to you exactly. It's a pants, um, a bralette that I bought separately, but also from the same store. I purchased this entire store. I purchased this exactly, um, I want to say maybe in February from Target, the entire thing. It's part of the Future Collective, and it's by the designer Gabriella Carifa Johnson, which is a black female designer. She did her big one with this. And hopefully you're seeing video or something or pictures or something of me wearing this. But um, I just think that it's so cute. And I love a, co a cohort kind of set because I like to break items apart. So sometimes if I want, I could wear the, the jacket or the shirt as, well, it's a shirt, but I feel like it can be a, like a shacket, okay? I can wear this with maybe a denim mini skirt, or I could wear it with an, a black jean or a legging or whatever. And the pants, I think, could look cool with like a graphic tee or, you know, or something. And I like to break it down. But me, I was a little hoochie mama when I wore this. I wore this bralette that I got from Target. It's from their brand, um, Colsey. And I just wore this as the top and I buttoned the shirt halfway and tucked it in my, my pants and I kind of wore it just like that. So it was a little peekaboo with the bralette. You know, I was not wearing a shirt underneath, I was just wearing the bra. But I thought it was so cute and so sexy and I actually think it's one of my best purchases because I, I see myself wearing this for like many years to come and whipping it out when I'm feeling like fly girl, you know? Um, I was so surprised to see something like this at Target. I don't know why because Target's known to have the fashions like everybody knows ever since I was a child uh, that, uh, Target's been kind of doing these designer collaborations sometimes um, with like bigger designers or different designers that you just wouldn't really see at Target and when they had this I was like in love and you guys um, I'll probably if I can remember I'll, I might put that video or you guys, look at my playlist of my hauls because I purchased so many things from this collection. I actually was embarrassed. I purchased so many things from Target that day. I spent over $1,000 at Target and never in my life. Did I spend over a thousand? I think I spent around a thousand, maybe like 900 something. I have never spent that much money at Target in my life in one go. And it was partially because I went to go look at her stuff and I ended up liking so many things that I bought so many things and it turned out to be in that video. And uh, I just like this and I just see myself doing so much with this. It's really a versatile piece and um, I just, again, I know I'll have it for years to come. Next, we have this maxi dress from Naked Wardrobe. Y'all know me, I love a good maxi dress, okay? Hopefully you guys are looking on the screen again and seeing me in this maxi dress. I love a good maxi dress and I love the color brown. You guys already know that. 
um, especially for the fall and the winter. And again, I live in Austin, Texas, which is a place where you can really get away with wearing kind of these type of things, whereas some other people might only get away with wearing these type of things in the spring and the fall. I can damn near wear them year round, okay? This one in particular I love because it's a mock neck. And y'all know I have very broad shoulders. You probably can tell even from this video, even though I have a turtleneck on um, and long sleeves, but I have very broad shoulders and that's been an insecurity of mine my entire life, having very big arms and broad shoulders. But I've noticed that when I have a turtleneck or even a mock neck, which to me is kind of like half the size of a turtleneck, I just feel my sexiest like that is my silhouette I love a mock neck and I love something sleeveless I never in a million years thought that I would be into that because usually those are the, like, the areas that I don't want to show but and this is just a pro tip if you have something that you are a little insecure about just play around with those areas and find something that makes you want to show off those areas like like for instance um Again, I have very big arms, but it wasn't until I realized I love mock necks and, and you know, sleeveless items that I was like, hey, I'm proud of my arms, you know? Um, some people have like really big legs, like super muscular legs, and they don't find them attractive. And I'm like, girl, you better find you a, a mini skirt. You better find you some shorts because you may not find it attractive, but so much of the world finds it attractive and you better get with the program, okay? So find a way to dress for your body type and find a way to dress in ways that make you feel good. Fashion is like not this pretentious thing. It's basically your playground. You do with it as you please, as much or as little as you please. But the most important thing is, you know, unless you have like religious constraints or um, you know, are focusing on modesty or, or um, you know, you can't wear certain things for whatever reasons, health reasons, I don't know. Um, unless it's like a reason like that, I would definitely say play around, find what you enjoy and what you're into. And I, it, I literally was in my mid twenties when I realized that I, that's something I like. I love maxi dresses in general too. And that wasn't something I really figured out until I was in college. And I'm glad that I didn't figure it out till I was in college because I actually find maxi dresses to be extremely sexy and like, you know, and now it's like people are have this whole thing about sundress season. And <laughs> once I got hip to the maxi dresses, every season is sundress season because I live in places that are hot. So I'd be killing them outside, okay? Everybody be breaking their neck trying to pay my rent. That's what I'm trying to say. But um, I'm not the biggest fan of Naked Wardrobe, but this dress, I would get it in every color. Absolutely love this dress. I actually bought a very similar dress from Skims that I'm debating on whether I want to keep or not. But I will say, surprisingly, this Naked Wardrobe dress, I got it on sale because they happen to have this color on sale, but this dress was more expensive than the Skims dress. The Skims dress was $78. I think this was $89. But even though that's not anywhere near what I paid, I think I paid like $40 or half off, something like that. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's kind of worth the $89. And that's not something I would say. Like Taylor would not say that, but it's so long, it's so stretchy. I am a person that really always wears a bra. I think I may have worn this without a bra once or twice and it still looked good. And I was like, hold up now. Hold up now. And I've washed it a few times because like I said, I've worn this dress many times and it's maintained its color. It doesn't have a whole bunch of lip balls on it. I'm just saying. I kind of stay away from Naked Wardrobe um, because a lot of their stuff just doesn't look good on my physique because even though I'm, um, I feel like I have a nice body, I have a very soft stomach. I don't do a ton of ab work and I definitely, be eating a little bit more than I should so I have a soft stomach area a, a soft like stomach area and uh, a lot of their clothes that kind of are like high-waisted or like two pieces just make me look muffin top but this because it's all one piece just looks super slimming and 
honestly, if I could afford it, I would get it in every color. I wish I was able to. Initially, I was going to buy it in gray and it sold out while I was like trying to pay for it because I was like, you know, looking at other stuff. And, um, you know, maybe a few weeks or months down the road, I saw this was on sale. So I got it in brown. I was like, they had everything that, it was weird that day, everything on the site that was a color brown or some shade of brown was like half off. So I was like, shoot, everything I bought was brown. <laughs> but definitely go check this out. I probably have it linked somewhere. So I'll, I'll, I think I'm, I'll probably be able to link this down below. Um, okay, another best purchases of 2023 is these boots, also from Forever 21. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I personally feel that Forever 21 does great footwear. Whether it's boots, sandals, most of my shoes are from Forever 21. And the reason I really like their shoes is, um, I'm very hard on my shoes, especially heels, because it's very rare that I find heels that I find comfortable. So when I do find a, a heel that I can, you know, stand in for more than an hour or wear for like several hours, I wear them into the ground until they don't look cute anymore. So the fact that Forever 21 shoes tend to kind of be comfortable for me and I can buy trendy styles, I can buy classic styles and they're not very expensive and on top of that again forever 21 has so many promo codes and stuff that you can find um, if you use any of those search engines like honey or capital one or retail me not or some of those places like that you can even get cash back like a percentage of your purchase back so for that reason i would i just i love forever 21 and i like I said, I particularly love their shoes. I think they do faux leather so well. Um, a lot of their shoes, especially when you're not like super duper close, they just give real leather. Like they feel like real leather. I even have clothing items that are like a faux leather or like a stretchy leather. And I'm like, dang, if this didn't smell like that kind of PVC type of material, I don't know what that this material is, but I would almost think this was leather because the way that it's, it feels like buttery soft like this. I'm like, okay, Forever 21. I don't know what, you know, you're doing, what, you know, type of synthetic material you're using or like how, if your technique for producing the material is different. All I know is every leather piece of footwear I have, from or faux leather piece of footwear I have from Forever 21 just really hits from the sandals um, to the boots to the the flats just done very well and these boots in particular are a dupe of a pair of boots um, from this designer Gia Borghini that I really love and I bought the real thing and they were like $700 or I got them on sale they were actually a lot more than that and I bought them and I was so excited to, to have them and I could not fit my foot in them. And I was like, I'm usually eight and a half. I bought a nine, uh, did it? I, I could not get my foot because it, they wouldn't go past like this area right here. It was just too tight on like the top part of the foot. So I couldn't actually fit my foot in there even though the length of the boot was, was more than enough for me to, you know, for my foot. But I just couldn't s squeeze my foot in the shoe. So I took them back and then I saw these and I kind of hesitated for a while and unfortunately they sold out because they had them in black as well. But lo and behold, they came back in a size eight and that's usually the size I wear in Forever 21 shoes. Uh, so I definitely say you can size down because like I said, I'm usually an eight and a half or nine otherwise. But these shoes, I just love them, love them, love them, love them. They're fairly comfortable. I have scuffed them here and there, but I'm not kneed, so I scuff up a lot of my shoes because my feet rub together a lot. So don't mind that, but I will say um, these are very well done. I've worn them for several hours. I've worn them multiple times, and they just do their job. Forever 21, I think I, at this point, have five or six pairs of Forever 21 boots, and I don't regret not nail one of them, okay? Hopefully you guys aren't, you know, sick of me. But last but not least, we have, hold on, I'm gonna try to take it out the package because I love y'all. 
when I get like designer items, I'll be keeping them in the package. Last but not least, we have my Kids Super Blazer. Um, I purchased from this local store here in Austin called By George. Um, I think they have another location outside of Austin. Um, I think it might be in Louisiana, I'm not sure, but Kid Super is an artist and he also has a clothing line. And I think for that very reason, that's why I'm so obsessed with all of his stuff. I actually want so much more Kid Super stuff and right now is kind of the time where things are like on sale. So I'm like, hmm, should I invest in a few more things? But like I said, it is men's clothing, but y'all know me. I like to, to walk the line. Like I love adding femininity to masculine pieces um, and vice versa. Sometimes I like as, adding masculinity to feminine pieces. So um, I have a lot of men's clothes. I used to wear my ex's clothes sometimes. I used to um, dress him, you know? And I think that this blazer for me, when I saw it, it was just so me. Like it was so me. I saw it on the hanger and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Cause at first when I looked at it, I thought it was printed on. But if you guys look closely, you can see that this is sewn on, okay? So I already liked the craftsmanship. The quality was there, okay? The, the stitching was there. It was heavy. And y'all, I tried on a medium and I was like, hmm. And the lady's like, no, you need a bigger size. So she went in the back and she was like, let's see a large. Because I was like, look, if I'm gonna do menswear, I want it to be oversized. And for me, it looks a lot more intentional. Um, if, you, if you're like a woman, it looks a lot more intentional if you buy a bigger size and it's a little bit baggier in my opinion, because then it looks, it doesn't look like you're trying to like dress like a man. It looks like you you know you're wearing men's clothes and you're adding like a different touch to it, you know? Because most men would, the same way I'm, oh, you know, in women's sizes, I'm between like a six and an eight, which is like between a small and a medium. I normally just buy my size, you know? Um, it's very rare that I'll buy like an extra large of something, you know, unless it was like just ran extremely small, but it's very rare that I'll buy an extra large of something to, to look baggy, you know, in women's clothes. But when it comes to men's, I'm like, no, I want people to t be able to tell that I'm wearing men's clothing, you know? So, um, when I put this on, I'm absolutely... I'm just absolutely blown away. This is like walking art for me. And I love, 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 love Kid Super. I've tagged them with me wearing this a bunch of times. And surprisingly, they, they look at my stories, but they don't like repost me or anything. So hopefully one day I'll have such a fire fit that they repost me because I want them to know how much I love their stuff. So this was probably the best purchase. And I didn't know I was gonna say that. But this is probably my best purchase of 2023 just because when I talk about shopping with intention, this is so me. This is a piece that I'm always going to reach for because it just has every element. It's quirky. It, it bends the line of masculine and feminine. It has a little color. It has edge. I definitely think I would describe my style as simple but edgy and sexy. I love to be sexy. I love to get fly, um, but I also don't like to do too much. I think that, you know, I like to give people face, okay? I like to give people hair. I like to give people body, okay? I don't need to do too much and have a million accessories and five hats and two two shoes on each foot and, and, and a million necklaces and a million rings. I, that's not my style sometimes it is but it's it has to be like a very particular look that i'm going for but in general you know you give me a nice pair of jeans an oversized blazer some leggings or something like that and i feel very very comfortable in that very comfortable because i know that i have body underneath there so even if i'm wearing something baggy i'm still gonna walk 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 it like i talk it okay because i know what i got underneath there and i'm telling you sometimes when you wear stuff like this people give you extra play because they like damn 
she has so much confidence she's not she's not wearing anything that really shows her body and she still looks fly as hell so when they see me next and i may have on something really sexy underneath and or showing something my body they'll be like damn i didn't know you had all the ass like that <laughs> and sometimes to be honest with you if i do wear something like this i'll probably wear like a really low cut top or like a really tight dress or something underneath it so it kind of gives it a little it balances it out you know that's that's really important um when when creating an over uh, like an overall look um sometimes it's really important to focus on balance and remember this remember i might have said this in the last video if something isn't interesting with shape, then it has to be interesting with texture. And if it's not interesting with texture, then it has to be interesting with color. Okay? So, um, you know, remember that. And you go back and forth. Like, um, maybe you could even start with color. You're like, okay, it's not interesting with color. Let me try playing around with the texture. If it's not interesting with texture, let me try playing around with the shape and silhouette. If it's not interesting that you then you got to just go back to the drawing board and change the color because that's probably not what's working you know but yeah hopefully this video isn't too long um i just wanted to start you know getting in the habit of doing little things like this so let me know what you guys think in the comments what was one of your best purchases this year um well this past year in 2023 let me know what you are you know have on your uh list to buy this year and um how you're shopping this year are you thinking about you know shopping with intention are you focusing on the quality of things or are you you know do you have specific goals in mind you know like did you just lose a lot of weight and you have to you know change your wardrobe you know let me know what i just want to know because i'm nosy okay so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video okay bye Yeah. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, cry that they die, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG,